Easy cheesy, man. I said easy cheesy. Good morning, good morning y'all. It's uh Wednesday morning and we're heading back over here to that job. Uh Zach was up uh, was 10 minutes early, so that's good. Uh you know, we can't really get started over there real early, but we can set up and everything. It's a good thing about having the the uh you know the battery powered saws and stuff on a job like that because if you get over there like right now at eight o'clock in the morning and you might they might, you know, say something. If they got a HOA, they might say something, you know, about, you know, you, you don't want to have them chainsaws running that early and brought up against somebody's house anyway. I would. Not unless I'm out in the country somewhere and it's, and it's been, you know. So, uh, the way we did the job yesterday, y'all know we got the one tree loaded on the trailer and we got it out of there. Uh, and my thinking was, well, we had to go back to the job after we made that dump, and we had to go back to the job either way. So when we went back to the job, and, and y'all probably see it uh, at the very end, I cut quite a few branches, maybe, you know, maybe 10% of the second tree, plus we got all the leaves up from the first tree. That made sense, you know. We know we're going to, have to do a, a, a final cleanup, so we're just trying to get all the big stuff. So I, I cut on that on the second tree, got some of the stuff that was right over that car and all that, and got all that on the trailer. So we probably got about 10% of the second tree on the trailer right now. Now I was going to drop it off at the bamboo site, but uh, that wasn't going to work because. Well, I was tired, man, and I didn't feel like getting back out. So, you know, uh, and the bamboo site's opposite direction of the way I'm going this morning. So, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to stop by the bank and uh, grab some cash because you got to have cash at the dump. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm fit to do now. And uh, we're going to be uh, back over there. And I know for a fact that we can get the second tree on that trailer. I don't think that the second tree had any more uh, on the uh, on it than the first one. Yesterday, since we had to go back to the job no matter what after the dump, we might as well, uh, you know, take you know some 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 stuff out of there. And that's basically what we did. Uh, I cut off some ends and stuff, you know, up around that car. And I'll get some footage over there today. And you know, you know, we had a couple of good things yesterday that uh, I was surprised at. None of the chains came off of the chainsaws, the pole saws, or anything while we're cutting all that little stuff. Whenever you're cutting a lot of little stuff, the chain on the pole saws tend to want to pop off. Yeah, it's just going to be easier for me to go to that other dump, the one that we went to yesterday. Cause you get down there to the other one, man, there ain't no telling what you're gonna run into. And today, when we're done, I'll go back to this dump. So I, I had to get enough cash to pay for two. Well, this is not gonna cost about 10 or $15. Probably we'll lose a little bit on this because they got a minimum. So, so you gotta watch out with that man lift because the boom, it hangs out off the back. And you don't wanna hit no car, that car is sitting there, and I don't wanna hit the house. A lot of little things, man, that, you know, that, you know, that a lot of people don't talk about. But I don't really know of any lawn care guys that does YouTube, that does YouTube videos, that, you know, has a man lift, a skid steer, and, you know, multiple mowers and stuff. That does a YouTube channel. There's got to be more guys out there like me because, well, it, it, it's pretty lucrative. Now that we have spent 
uh, you know, after today, and we're not, that's all we're gonna do today. See, what's happened back at the back cave is the lawns have built up a little bit because we didn't work Monday and we dedicated the last two days to this to this job. So that'll be three days that we didn't cut no grass. And so instead of having two or three a day, which is kind of how they're trickling in right now with the weather and the time of the season and all, what we've done, and I wouldn't be doing them like that anyway, it, you know, if we got an eight an eight route day, an eight long route that we normally do, and only three of them are still getting them done, I'm not gonna go do them three and then that's it. What I'll do is I'll let them build up, which means I won't work. I'll let, you know, at least uh, make it where we got six or eight to do. Uh, and then we're not very efficient doing it like that because, well, the lawn care is set up in a way to where it's all about efficiency because you gotta do a lot of volume. And when you get into this time of year where, you know, a lot of the yards in, yeah, it's straight up in, it, you know, uh, and, you know, it's, that's just the way it is. It's contracted like that. It's meant to be like that. That's how it's uh, set up, you know. So you find yourself on these, on these routes where we're extremely efficient, you know, during the summer and doing good. And then once you get into this part of the year, you're extremely inefficient. You're about as inefficient as you could possibly be because on a nine uh, yard route, you're doing three of them. And then you gotta jump on another route and do three off of that route. And then you might have to jump on another route and do three off of that route. So you find yourself, you know, a lot more inefficient than what you are during the summer. But what you do is you make sure that you're making enough money to where you can, during the summer, and you bank that money. You know, well, I don't make as much money in the wintertime as I do in the summertime. Well, I, I make sure I make over the amount of money I need to make in the summertime. And then in the wintertime, I'm just average. You know, I'm making a, a good average. But see, if you're not smart with your money, you, 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 people don't, you, you can't hardly do that hard to if you're not smart with your money you gotta be smart with your money all the time to be self-employed and to and to and to you know so you know the inefficiency that we are right now well we're extremely efficient you know in the summertime so it all works out in the wash to where you're you know but having a job like this if you could just have a job like this every week or every two weeks you know it ain't got to be a real high paying job as long as it's a good job and this is a pretty good paying job I gotta admit yeah I don't know how any 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 of you other any of you guys would have done it without a man lift and I don't know that you know based on what you got going out as far as labor goes now we know that if I brought three people over here four people over here, two trailers, and, you know, then we know that I could have got done yesterday. But I didn't, I, 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 I want to keep my overhead down. I want to keep, save all the work for me and my guy. And this job, though, you know, at 2100 when you factor in uh, the expenses, then you know you're doing better over here than you are when you do lawn work, lawn care. It's just to me, and it's just me, and I and y'all know I keep a disclaimer somewhere around here. To me, it's just it's just filling in the gaps and letting the lawn care yards build up to where it, they're worthy of you getting out there and dedicating a truck or two to the lawn care. And then it's also on the back side of that it's, it's about keeping everybody busy and we could have you know now that I'm thinking about it man see 
you got to always be thinking about what you're doing to say I'm always trying to be a little bit more efficient man just a little bit another thing that could have went down is if we'd have had two trailers over there I could have I could have cut I would have been willing to cut the trees a lot faster see I wasn't willing to cut the trees a lot faster because of the condensed space that we're working in I didn't want to you know I mean if I'd have cut went over there and just just strictly cut the trees while Zach loaded it, it, it we would have been it would have been a mess for us to clean up and pick up I don't like to be tripping over the limbs and stuff no matter what I don't think that we could have avoided coming back today uh, no matter what we did and that was the thinking the only way we were not gonna have to come back today is if I had had Katie out here and, and another vehicle yesterday but then what okay we knocked that job out yesterday damn we put that money in our pocket bam now we ain't got no work today because we ain't got quite enough lawns to go tackle them yet bam so here we are see what I'm saying I want to get done with the lawns and then we can dedicate ourselves to more of this type of work I haven't even marketed anything I got an ad ready to post but I haven't done it yet and any of you guys that watch my channel in my general area Griffin, Fayette, uh, Coweta uh, and y'all see y'all got customers there you know y'all holler at me man you know because I believe one of you guys referred me to this to this customer she told me who the who the who her lawn care guy was and I don't know him personally that I that that I can remember so yeah anyway uh, I'm pulling up here to the to the dump and it, man it looks like it might freaking rain y'all another thing about a job like this one right here that we're that we're doing you know when I'm bidding on it just a just a you know a side note is that when when the limbs are up in the tree it's always more than what it looks like when it hits the ground when it hits the ground it's you you know it's it's a lot more than what it looks like when it's hanging on the tree and sometimes you got to use the tree and its ability to hold the limbs off the ground <laughs> while you clean up what you already cut a lot of guys might have went in there and just cut the whole cut everything and you know but y'all saw how we kind of half did it cleaned up you know because we're gonna use the tree as uh, you know a way to keep the limbs off the ground so we don't get especially when you don't have a machine there like the Bobcat if we had to cut all those branches off and then loaded them you know it would have been overwhelming and a lot more work when you're manually uh, having to uh, pull the limbs out of a pile that's you know that's a, it's a lot more work like that if you ask me so when I'm looking at a job like that and I'm looking up in the tree and I'm thinking to myself wow that's a whole lot of debris then I'm also thinking well if I think it's a lot of debris when it's up in the tree it's really a lot of debris when it hits the ground and my thinking is always centered around that because if you're a guy like me a little guy out here you know Chuck if you will well it's all about disposing of the debris that's what it's all about you got to be able to dispose of the debris so they got a car right there man today damn so yeah this freaking neighbor here what a, what an asshole man he won't move his car you know he's standing out there watching make sure we don't hit his car but he's got the car all on the freaking road where we can't even where i can't even if i pull behind the car to be where i need to be then i'm blocking him this is like just you know just rude man i couldn't stand to have a neighbor like that dude where he's just an asshole you know he won't move the car he told me he couldn't move it and there's all the space he could park that car so he's going to end up getting blocked in and I'm going to have to move the truck while we're freaking working that and yeah and dragging branches and shit. It's just stupid, man.
don't have to be like that, dude. And he's an asshole, man. He told me, he said, no, he, he can't move the car. He said, he needs it right there. I'm like, really, dude? I don't even know what to say, man. Well, you know, there's always going to be people like that, dude. I mean, I'm helping him out, too, getting rid of the tree that's all, hanging all over his freaking house. So, this is where I'm going to park, right here. Sorry. Sorry for your freaking luck, asshole. Okay, y'all, so, uh, a couple branches I'm going to cut off of that one. We'll put that on top. This one right here ought to go pretty a lot quicker than the other one. Well, Ray, you need to quit talking, man, and get on up in there. But y'all see, he won't move that red car out of the way. So... I didn't think that I would have a problem, you know. But yeah, so now we're gonna have to drag the branches down beside that car. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, dude, dude. Three hours, that. Yeah, right on. You know, I mean, does it look as busy as the other one? No. And we ain't got 600 pounds off of it. Yeah, it really doesn't. I mean, yeah, that one. <laughs> that one was crazy, dude. I'm that one. Hey, the, the people in the comments were coming in the comments. They were saying, dude, I can't believe y'all got all that on one trailer load. That was a lot. Dude. I know. I, I was like, man. That was a lot. Uh, yeah. getting to a certain point here uh i kind of wanted to get all this cleaned up before i continue on one thing that we uh maybe gonna run out of is bar oil with the saws so i may have to go get some bar oil uh <clears throat> we still got a pretty good bit of cutting to do uh but i want to get all this cleaned up and then we'll take a break is that is that Zach's been loading that trailer like a boss, man. Look at that. All 200 pounds on it, huh? Y'all see it. But, uh, yeah. It's looking pretty good, I guess. We ain't been here but about an hour. How long have we been here? About an hour? I didn't want to go on. I didn't want to take it all down yet because it's just it's harder to deal with. We're going to use the tree as our damn hanger. Let's hang it up in there and load this and get all this on the ground up there. Right. I may have to move the lift, man. It's going to suck. Because I can't hardly reach this back stuff. Right. But, uh, yeah. Y'all see what it is, man. I know a lot of you guys were talking about, you know, <clears throat> cutting the limbs off the bottom and working your way up so they don't get hung up in there. Well, if we were doing a, a you know, a, a manicured trim then i'd say okay but it's hard to uh with the man lift you'll be on one side you want to get all you can get with that with one side before you go to the other side so see i can cut all, i can get all this high stuff 
and I'm, I'm gonna cut it high, you know. But at the end of the day, it's gonna look like that no matter what. So, and as I, if I get, it's hard to get the lower stuff with the lift because the higher stuff starts hitting you in the head and stuff. So, you got to kind of go from you know one side of the tree to the other side. That's my thinking anyway. And I do have a disclaimer that says I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'll put it up for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Okay, y'all, so that's a wrap over here, man. Uh, she liked it. Uh, I cut a couple more branches off for her just to keep it where, uh, at bay from the house. But, uh, yeah. Y'all see what time it is? Y'all see, man. All right, y'all, so that's a wrap, man. That's a good, that's, that's a good paying job. Uh, like I said, it's 12:20 right now, and Zach will probably be there till about 12:30, and uh, because he's cleaning up. And yeah, uh, she was very happy with the job, and you know, she was also really happy with the timing and all, uh, because I told her how, about how long I thought it would take, and I tell you, we were we we were dead on about what I thought it would take. I thought it would take a day and a half, you know. I, I didn't think it would take two two full days, and of course, you know, to us, uh, a day is not eight hours. A day to us is about six hours, but we don't take a lunch, so uh, we got over there at nine today. We took about a thirty-five minute break, you know, about midway through, and. Uh, so we spent about three hours over there today. And then yesterday, we spent about five, five and a half hours. And that one including going to the dump. So, yeah, I mean, so we got about, you know, eight or nine hours over there, eight and a half. I would just say we got nine hours over there. And an hour of that is the dump. Of course, another 35 minutes on this trip to the dump because this trip to the dump is on the way home so it's not you know Zach did great man we got all we got everything everything done man and she came out there you know before I put the man lift up I, I wanted her to come out and make sure that we got everything uh, you know because she paid you know the first you know, the, you know yesterday morning when I first got there before we even crunk up the salt so you know, uh, but she was real happy with the timing. The, you know, the timing of everything was critical for her uh, because it needed to, you know, she didn't want it to linger a week. She said the last guys that, that cut it, that cut those two trees, uh, they didn't charge as much as I did. Uh, and of course, the, she said that the trees weren't as bad either. But she said they was over there about five days, you know, cutting and hauling stuff off and they didn't make as much money as I made so and it, so that, that that you know yeah that means they had somebody over there they had a, a an ill-equipped chuck in a truck over there you know but at least I'm an equipped chuck in a truck you know just say it man and we'll have uh, this load right here, I want to say, is probably going to be around $35 for $40. $15 this morning for that little bit of, you know, us doing that yesterday, 
really, well, it made sure that we were going to be able to get done today. You know. And, and we probably could have done it without that because we could have taken some of the stuff to the woods, you know. It had been a lot of work, but we could have done it. We could have drug, you know, a handful of branches to the to the woods too. But you know, uh, I didn't bid it like that, so I wanted to make sure that we can for sure get done today, and and you know, without spending the whole day. So Zach uh, today worked well three three and a half hours, one hundred twenty dollars. So yesterday he worked uh, about five hours and he got $140. So I don't know what people pay or what the going rate is. Uh, I heard somebody say something about, you know, you can go to McDonald's and get $16 an hour. Well, the McDonald's that, that went up by my house, they don't pay $16 an hour. I know we all, they all say, you know, I hear that all the time. Fast food pays sixteen dollars an hour. Well, my, the McDonald's that I that I work, in, you know, in my little city, they don't pay sixteen dollars an hour. I can tell you that right now. I know the owners, and they don't pay sixteen dollars an hour. I mean, I I, I want to say they had about thirteen dollars an hour. I don't know for sure. I was what uh, uh, the son of the owner told me. And that was about a year ago, unless things have changed. But well, I'm always hearing, you know, people talking about, well, fast food pays $16 an hour. Well, I hate to say it like this, y'all, but fast food is harder work than what we do. You kidding me? Oh my God. To me it is. There would be nothing more dragging than being standing on a concrete floor all day sliding around on the greasy floor uh you know uh, cooking fries nothing wrong with that but for me uh-uh that's harder than what we do because you got to be in the same place all day and i'm biased of course you know because what well, what we do out here is is well, it's sweet, man. When you got the right equipment. If we had to try to do that job without the right equipment, then you know, I would not have even done that job without the man lift. I don't think. Even if you had the bobcat, it would still be a lot, a lot of work. But I love when a player comes together like that. You know. And you know. The money that we made over there is not, you know, it, it, it's not crazy great money. I mean, it's good money considering what we got on our plate right now. But along with that, just bidding the job and bidding, you know, thinking about the timing and the timing being, I mean, dude, the timing was spot on, man. And if you're out here doing like, you know, living like I'm living and being an entrepreneur and, and running your own gig, you got to be able to predict how long it's going to take to do something. You've got to in order to be really good. So every time I do a job like that, and my timing is spot on, and that builds your confidence up a little bit each job. You know, yeah, I think we did it about as efficient as two people can do it, you know, based on what we know and the equipment that we have, right? You can only do, and you can only do as good as you know how to do you know you can only I mean you can't do any better than that and I think Zach did an outstanding job you know uh, 
today and yesterday on packing the trailer. He really did outstanding. And I could tell by the way he was doing it, you know, that even though me being the kind of dude I am, I'm like, dude, you ain't got to do this, you ain't got to do that, you know. Sometimes I got to take a back seat to that kind of rhetoric while we're working and just let him do his thing. Because as long as he's doing his thing and it's like this, I, I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll not say a damn thing. Keep my mouth shut. You do you, dog, as long as you're doing it where it's like yesterday and today. And that's what, you know, I expect from the guys and gals that come out here and work for me where I'm paying them, trying to pay them, you know, $20, $25 an hour. I don't want to have to micromanage the trailer loading. I don't want to. And, you know, I have to look at that myself. You know, based on yesterday's, you know, I couldn't really say because the timing was great. The, uh, and the compaction of the trailer is great too. So today, I kind of just had to let him do his thing, you know? Get out of his way. You want to be able to let the guys that work for you do what they do, what you do what they do without having to tell them every little bitty thing. And I've had to take a step back, you know, here, you know, in the last few years, when I got the same guy coming out here, I, you know, I had to take a step back and let them do what they do. And me not critique every little bitty thing. And see, that's where I have to grow, you know. It's true, it's so true. proven this summer that you know and, and, and you know we all have rough patches but he's proved this summer that he you know that he can make it through the summer he, and I already knew that it, it's all about what he's willing to do and you know what you know what kind of off the field stuff going on but he overcame a lot this summer and I'm going to try to keep him busy through the winter if it had been like years past this summer, then y'all know I was, so, I was so frustrated that I don't want to generate no work. I, I need a break by the time we get to this point. But the last two months of the season, Zach made it a lot better for me, you know, managing things, and uh, he, he made he made me want to generate more work. But I save my money as if I wasn't going to work all winter. I do that every year. But y'all know as well as I know that I'm going to be working during the summer, during the winter. Y'all know I'm going to be working during the winter. You know, with skid steer and you know man lift and you know the mowers, the trucks, and the trailers and stuff. I'm going to be working through the winter. But you know, if Zach had not been doing good then I wouldn't have wanted to, to do this job that we just did. I, 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 would, I had to pass on it because I, because I didn't know if he's going to be able to show up or whatever. Just saying. And that's a wrap, man. We're done for the day. Peace out.